Good evening, fourth graders. Um, now that I have taught you all my favorite multiplication strategies as numbers get larger, the partial products method and the area model method, um, I want to move on to my favorite division strategy. Um, so my favorite division strategy, which you'll hear for the next few days, is called the partial quotients strategy for division. Um, remember, a quotient, um, that is the answer to a division problem. And so just like with um, multiplication, we had the partial products method where we found the product in parts and then put the parts together. We have a similar method for division called the partial quotients method where we find the quotient in parts and then we put them together. So this is the title for today. Please give this a pause, write it down, and unpause when you're ready. All right, so put your pencil down, close your notebook. I just want you thinking along with me at this point. Let me go back to third grade and review if you one of the strategies you probably learned in third grade to divide. The method's called repeated subtraction. So if I want to re solve 12 divided by 3 using repeated subtraction, uh, what I would have done is I would take my 12 and I would repeatedly subtract 3 until I couldn't do it anymore. So I would take away 3 and get 9, take away 3 and get 6, take away 3 and get 3, take away 3 and get 0, and now I can't take 3 away anymore, so I'm done, and I would count up how many times I subtracted 3. So I did it 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So my quotient would be 4. I can repeatedly subtract 4 times. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. Let me do another one. 35 divided by 3. It's going to be more times, right? 35. So I'm going to repeatedly subtract 3 from 35 until I can't. So minus 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. Minus 3, I'm going to write the answer up there. Minus 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. And now I can't subtract 3 anymore, right? I've got this 2 and I can't subtract 3 anymore. So what I'm going to do is count up how many times I subtracted 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 times, and I have two left over, so I write that like this. I can make 11 threes, and there were two left over. We call that a remainder. 11 remainder two. So that's it. So the reason we need a new strategy, that's a great strategy. The reason we need a new strategy, just like with multiplication, the numbers are going to get too large for that strategy to work. So by the end of probably next week, you're going to be able to divide this, 3,702 by 3. And I think it's pretty easy to see why you're going to want another method because minus 3, minus 3, whoops, minus 3. I mean, I'm never going to get done. <laughs> I'm going to be able to do this so many times that this is just not a workable strategy. I'm never going to make it. So um, I'm going to teach you a new way. I'm going to, it's actually the same way. You just do it in big chunks at a time. So the reason we need a new strategy is we need to be able to do this. So we're not going to jump to something that high yet. But let's do jump to something pretty high. I still wouldn't really like to do this with repeated subtraction. It's going to take me 15 or 20 times um, taking 4 away from 75 before I get to 0. And I just don't really care to do that. Um, so I'm going to show you a method called the partial quotients method. Again, please don't write this down yet. There will be a time to write later. And here's how it works. I'm still going to do this repeated subtraction idea, but I'm going to do it in chunks. So I'm going to set I'm going to set it up like this. I'm going to write my dividend like this. And I kind of draw this shape around it. I, I draw this. Put it inside this shape. And I'm dividing it by 4, so I'm just going to write that out here to remind me. So that's my divisor, that's my dividend. So rather than just take away 4, I'm going to take away a bunch of 4s at a time. 
like maybe I'm going to take 10 fours away all at once. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write 4 times 10 here. And 4 times 10 is 40. And so what I'm really going to do when I do that, I'm going to take that away now and be down to 35. What I did is instead of going minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, I took 10 fours away all at the same time. So I did 10 repeated subtractions of 4 in one step with this 4 times 10. So this is 4 times 10, and this is reminding me that I did minus 4 10 different times already. So now I've done my 10 in one step. And so I'm going to do like that again. I'm going to try to take away a big chunk all in one step. So like I know I can probably do, I can't do another 10, because if I try to take 40 away, that's too much. But I could do like five. Five more fours. So four times five is 20. And then boom, in one step, instead of doing minus four, minus four, minus four, minus four, minus four, I'm doing five minus fours all at once. Pretty neat, right? And then I think I could do three more, uh, four times three. That's 12. And now I can't take away any more fours. So if you look back up through my answer, I've got it here. I took away four 10 times here, 15 times here, and three times here. So altogether, I did minus four 10, 15, 18 times. And I write my answer up here. I did 18 groups of 4, 10, 5, and 3, and then I had 3 left over as a remainder. So all I did was repeated subtraction, it's just I did it in big bites all at one time. So here's 10 4s, here's 5 4s, here's 3 4s. Let me do another one. Okay, and it's 65 divided by 2. Um, I'm going to do this two different times because I want you to see, and again, still don't write this down. I want you to see what's cool about this method is you don't even really have to, there's lots of ways you can do it. It's almost hard to be wrong as long as you do it right. So what, check this out. So I'm going to do 65 divided by 2. And let's do like last time, like 10 is a good number. So I might take 10 groups um, of 2 here out. So let's do 10 groups of 2. And that's 20. And I'm down to 45. I can do another one of those, 10 more groups. Down to 25. I can do that again, actually, because I've still got 20 left. So I can do 10 more groups of 2. Get 20. Now I'm down to 5. I think I can only do 2 more groups of 2. And get four. So now I'm down to one, no more groups of two, and I did ten groups of two subtractions here, ten groups of two subtractions here, ten groups of two subtractions here, two groups of two subtractions here, and all together I did ten, twenty, thirty two groups, and I had one left over. So I'm just doing repeated subtraction, I'm just putting a bunch of them together into one set so I don't have to do it. 32 different times. It would have taken a really long time to do minus 2, 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 and so on. All right, so that's it. So what's cool about this is you don't have to pick these numbers I picked to get the right answer, right? What if I hadn't thought to do 10 groups of 2? What if I just thought to do 5 groups of 2? Say, so, all right, I know I can do 5 groups of 2. Well, that would be 10, and that would bring me down to 55. And I could do five groups of two again and get 45. I could do it again. 35. I could do it again. Get 25. I could do it again. And like, it's, I, I, it doesn't matter if I go by tens or if I go by fives, because what you'll see happen here. 15. And what if now I realize I can do, what, 7 more and get 14? Do 7 times 2. And now I'm at my last one. So no more to do. So look what I'm still going to get. 5, 
groups of two, 10 groups of two, 15, 20, 25, 32. I still have 32 groups and I still have one left over. I just did it in way more steps. So when I chose these smaller groups of repeated subtractions, it doesn't matter other than I have to do more work. So I still got the same answer if I went by tens or if I went by fives. Pretty neat. All right, let's do one together. Let's do 73 divided by 5. So now I want you to, you can either, if you feel like you got this and you want to work it out, pause now, do it, see how you did. Um, or you can work it with me, or you can just watch me do one more and then write it down. Your choice. So here we go. 73 divided by 5. I, I was, a 10 is a good place to start. I always kind of think in terms of 10. And I can do 10 here, so I'm going to do um, 10 groups of 5 right off the bat. And that's going to knock me down a long way. So now I'm subtracting 10 different 5s all in one step. And I'm down to 23. And then the next thing I think I'd like to do is 4 groups. If I do 4 more groups of 5, that takes the way the most I possibly can. And so I'm going to take away... 20. Now I got 3. I can't make any more groups of 5 because 3 is not enough. So I do and say, well, look, here's how many repeated subtractions I did. I made 14 groups of 5 and I had 3 left over. So if I had done minus 5, 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 I would have done it 14 times. But I just did 10 of them and then I did 4 of them. And so I chunked those 14 together and it didn't take me as long. Pretty neat. So that's the partial quotients division method. It's just a way to do repeated subtraction faster. Um, once you, If you need to go back and watch any of these again, this is pretty new, please do. Please go back and watch the I do's again or think about this one again. Um, get as good a gra grip on this as you possibly can before class tomorrow and then we'll do your you do's there. See you then.